show loves. So I have this tote on the top of my closet and it's got a bunch of purses and wallets and that kind of stuff in it. I'm just going to go through them and get rid of as many as I can um, or feel like getting rid of. Um, a lot of these are hand-me-downs to begin with and I think it's just time to let them go and maybe get rid of this tote or keep the tote and we'll see. But anyhow, as you can tell, this one's had its fair share of days. It's not white anymore. It's missing the cross, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, I really, really love this wallet, but it's also showing wear and tear. Um, and I don't know, it still works, but it's pretty worn out. I think that someone else might be able to use it. Mine's fine. I like the kind of wallets that have the um, straps up here, the wristlet wallets, I guess, because I don't really carry a purse too much anymore unless I'm going, like, really dressing up. Uh, so I don't really carry these wallets anymore. Uh, this wallet matches that purse and there's no need to have it. It's pretty funky colored. Again, here's another wallet. Um, it's really falling apart. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of it. Here's another wallet. This one looks like it's still in pretty good, pretty good condition. Um, Okay, y'all. When my daughter was little, she would give me stickers, and I would put them on my wallet or my phone case or whatever. Uh, so that is why you'll find stickers every now and then. Besides the one that was on the other wallet that said "I vote," um, or "I voted." <laughs> anyway, uh, this one's a perfectly adequate wallet. It, there's nothing wrong with it. It's in pretty good condition, but I don't need it, and I prefer wristlets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it away. Uh, this, one, this purse here is still in pretty good condition. Uh, oh gosh, it's heavy. I forgot how heavy it was. <laughs> yeah, it's still in pretty good condition, so I'm going to keep this purse. Okay, next up, this wallet. Again, this is a hand-me-down, but it's still in pretty good condition. So I think that would be good to donate. Yeah, I think so. Cute wallet, but no. Uh... Here's a black one, basically the same thing. I do like these, it's just I don't I don't use them. I like my, my wallets I have now. Okay, this is <laughs> one that my grandfather got for me when I was a teenager because I just had to have it. We were at a little gas station, in, no, a restaurant gas station in some small town. And I've always loved Wizard of Oz because of him. We used to watch it together when I was younger. And... It was always at that time of the year, Christmas time, and I would sit up in his lap and uh, we'd watch The Wizard of Oz together. So it's always a special memory, and that is why I will forever love The Wizard of Oz. And I am not getting rid of this purse. It's still in pretty good condition. It's just a little bit from storage. Okay. Here's another purse. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's in pretty good condition. But I don't think I need it anymore, so I'm going to give it away, especially since I gave away the uh, wallet that matched it. Okay, here's a black purse. It's pretty big, and I tend to like black purses occasionally. I The purse that I will carry every now and then is in the living room, so I can't show you. Uh, but the straps are really uh, messed up, and also, I don't know about y'all, but I've noticed that these rhinestone kind of... Um, handles or straps or whatever you want to call them. They get caught up in my hair. So I don't think I'm going to keep this one even though it is pretty cute. Um, I know the smaller one I have that I decided to keep this in here has the rhinestones but they're not the same kind. They are closer to the, the handle instead of a big gap. Okay, this is one that my cousin gave me and it's super cute. I love it but she had spilled big red in it and I never could figure out how to clean it to see all the pink um, so I think I'm just going to give it away. Okay, here's a little black purse that I had since I was a teenager, probably. Um, it's really small. Um, I don't think I need it anymore, honestly. My daughter might want it, so I'm going to ask her before I give it away. And then there's just a little checkbook, um, cover, holder, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to get rid of that. Now, my friend recently gave me a wallet. Not a wallet, I'm sorry, a handbag, purse, whatever you want to call it. And I need to see my closet floor. Sorry. And it is so cute because it's round and I love odd shaped purses, um, despite that I don't have any. So 
I think I want to keep it. I like how it doesn't open all the way. It just kind of gaps. And I'll probably never have use for it, but it's so cute. How can I not want to keep it? I don't even know who makes it. Let's see. Oh, that's just nice. Oh, sorry. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know. I was going to tell y'all who made it, but I don't know. There's a little tag in there. Let me see. Um, oh, okay. You know what? It says made in China. <laughs> And it says something here, but I'm not sure what it says. I have no idea what it says. Uh, and it's too dark for y'all to see it. It looks like land or lawn or something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, I am going to keep that purse. So that makes a total of three purses that I'm keeping. Um, and I have seen where you can stack a purse inside a purse. But these are all relatively the same size, but a different shape. Like this one's rectangular and long, and this one's rectangular and wide I guess and then this one's obviously round this one might fit in one of them but I'm not sure I might hang them up I might leave them in a tote I think I'll leave them in a tote and there's some clothes that are too big for me that I have in my closet on this I'm sorry too small for me in the tote on this side that way they will not be taking up space in my closet except for in this tote I think I like that idea yeah so anyhow. hello loves so I decided to go ahead and show you the different ways that I can fold pants because I have to put them in the tote. Now originally, I usually, not originally, usually I do not fold pants. I hang them up in my closet. But um, I'm going to show you how I do it and how most people tend to do it or how I did it when I was younger anyway. Now these are just a pair of nice slacks. You can see why I didn't want to get rid of them. They're pretty. They're casual. Oh, not casual. They're dressy. Go with just about anything because they're black. Anyway, how I used to would fold them when I would just... Uh, bring the uh, legs up and then over over and then just fold like this okay so there's nothing wrong with that it's adequate um, if I didn't do it this way then I would have done it to where I folded oops the side over first and then I would fold the legs up or down like this And then I would go again. So again, nothing wrong with it. Perfectly adequate. But I like to try to save space. So I'm going to unfold it. And I can do this two different ways. I can do it facing in or out. Like how I, show, I showed you that I like to fold my shirts is with the top facing down towards the mattress or whatever. But with these pants, uh, especially since they're going to be in storage for a while, I don't think it really matters. I'm going to fold the leg up, and of course I'm kind of straightening it out as I go, because I'm odd like that, and then I'm going to fold the other leg up, and then this is where you have more choices again. You can either fold this up again to where you bring, I guess what would be considered the knees, up to the waist, or you can just leave it as it is. I like to do this because I feel like it makes it smaller. And of course, you'll see the crotch area, and it's going to drive you crazy because it doesn't fold right. It kind of overlaps and everything. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, okay. And now you have two different, probably more than two different options to, to store this. You can either fold it. And of course, you know me, I fold in threes or fours. So I would fold in threes like that. Looks good. Stands up. Or you can roll it. It still looks good, takes up very little space, and doesn't have too many wrinkles when you unroll it because it's um, not crinkled or anything besides like the little creases where the pants are baggy or whatever. Not baggy, but I don't know. So anyway, I'm not sure which way I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to roll them because they're going in a tote. Now, if they were going in something that was going to be stored with no lid, like these camis, then I would do this. But since they're going to be stored in the tote, I'm just going to go ahead and roll them all. So that's how I roll my pants when I roll my pants.